Hey guys, sorry for the uh, poor camera quality. I don't know why my camera is doing this to me of late. I changed some settings. The camera's not changed, it's still a Logitech C920. So I have no idea why it's just looking like absolute crap. But I've got a cup of coffee here. So you know what that means, right? That's right, coffee time of cup. Roll. <laughs> And we're back. Uh, don't forget, guys, this video is sponsored. This video is sponsored by the internet's best merch. Right here. Links in the video description down below. Click it, check it out. Buy a t-shirt, support the channel. You get some swag, I get a couple of bucks. Uh, or if you're feeling frisky, there's a donate button down below. Just click it. I greatly appreciate it. You can donate a buck, you can donate whatever. It's fine. Now, what has been going on with my life? I've got to take this headset off. What has been going on with me and why has the content been a bit sporadic? Well, I had a couple of reaction videos pre-saved from ages ago and you may have noticed you know the hair's changed the beard's changed in those videos and whatnot because those were pre-recorded months ago and i just haven't had time to record new content i've got tons of content on the other computers that i've just got to get them back over and edit them and upload them and whatnot and um And so, oh gosh, where do I begin? I start school today. I'm recording this video like at 5.30 in the morning. My class starts at nine. It's for cyber security. And it's gonna be a 12 week course. I'm already three weeks behind because the course itself, I'm not behind in the court, okay? The course is already three weeks in. Now, there is such a, 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 a high demand for this one course because it's NVQ level three, which means really high up there. It will get me into, you know, having my own personal co company contracts, etc., etc. Now, the reason why um, I'm behind is because there was a dropout. The dropout rate for this class is like 30%, 40% dropout which is pretty high for a um, cyber security course. I'm going to move the mic a little bit closer. I've got a fan going here, so I do apologize. But yeah, it's um, it's got quite a high dropout rate. And someone has dropped out, and I was next in line to make the regular due date. They asked me, would I be willing to play catch up? Which means for the first like week, week and a half, I'll be doing a minimum of like freaking... 10, day, 10 hours a day, just boot, in, sit, knock it all out, get it done, tests, get it done, tests, get to play catch up, you know. Uh, they have extended my uh, deadline for certain things that I have to hand in paperwork wise and whatnot. They've extended that for like a month. So normally the end of the semester would be in September. They're willing to push it out an extra month for me just so I can play catch up, which is amazing. Thank you for them for that. Now, the course itself was is is about thirty five to forty thousand pounds. It's not cheap. It's a very expensive course. Luckily for me, my veteran, my, my VA benefits, what little that there is here in the UK, covered it. Um, they said we got you covered. Um, here you go, and I got the acceptance letter saying that they were willing to cover it. I sent the letter on to the to the recruiter, to the the the, 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 the careers advisor. They looked at it and said, oh, oh, fully paid, up front. Yeah, welcome aboard. So I officially start today at 9 a.m. Not nervous about it. Uh, what I am nervous about, and I'm not gonna lie, I am nervous. Everyone's gonna be nervous. If they're not nervous, they're lying. 
what I am nervous about is the potential of what's coming next and what I mean by that is once I'm done with this course do I want to get a small little boring remote office job working for a company getting paid pay peanuts or do I want do I want to be freelance grey hat you know get paid to hack etc 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 granted it's not a guaranteed paycheck coming in because I only get paid per project that I'm doing but it is a little bit more freedom for me also um, with that being said my divorce is finally going through in the US and um, there's been a whole slew of reasons as to why I cannot get my divorce started mostly because I was on a do not enter list which means I could not go to court to represent myself yes I could have hired a lawyer to to represent me etc etc it's just an extra pain in the ass and I'm not willing to pay for that uh, so plus I have plans I have goals of moving back to the US uh, it's it's everyone knows this everyone in my life who, who matters to me knows this um, I'm done with England I'm done with this shithole and it is an absolute shithole um, I'm not gonna I have plans I'm currently a little bit behind on my plans but once I'm done and I've got some decent money saved under me I plan on getting two more things sorted out and then I'm done yeah I'm done with the UK I don't care where the fuck I move to could be Germany could be fucking Thailand could be anywhere I am I don't care if I become a passport bro I am done I am done with the UK I'm absolutely fucking done with the UK. I'm sick and tired of being treated like a second class fucking citizen because of the colour of my skin or my ethnicity. I'm just done with my religious beliefs. I really am. I'm I'm just I'm just fucking absolutely done. I'm just done, absolutely done, and I just, I can't do it no more, I can't stay here no more, the only, the only person, uh, there's two, there was two people on this, in this country, only two people in the whole of this country that was my reason for staying here, and one of them passed away, technically, and I can't believe this, two years ago, no, and the second one just gave me her, gave me their blessing to leave. So there's nothing holding me here, morally, spiritually, nothing. The only thing that's holding me here is finan finances. And once I get my finances sorted out, and I am going to do that, I am going to get my finances sorted out, I am getting all of whatever shit I need to keep my job going, you know, money coming in. I'm going to box it all up and I'm going to ship it in a great big huge fucking shipping container. So it'll be ready and waiting for me for when I land. Not even kidding. I'm going to have my, all my shit shipped, packed, and sent. And then I'm going to find somewhere to be my forever home. With my fiance, yes, I do have a fiance. Um, <laughs> yes, she's American. Uh, and um, And 
I'll tell you what. Could not be more happy with the partner I've chosen. And she's very supportive. She makes me laugh, she makes me smile. And just like the shirt, she never gives up, she never backs down. This is my favorite, this is my favorite shirt. I got this when I was living in the States. No, no, wait. No, this is my old um, mentor's um, logo in his gym. Never got, why do I think it's in America? Stupid brain. I've got America on the brain for what it is. And so, yeah, I've been doing that. And 3D printer is back up and running. And I've already been making print a good burr. We have a full Dark Gods, Fulgrim, demonic possessed Fulgrim. Um, it's the 40 mil or the 60 mil? No, it's just, yeah, it's, it's one of them. Uh, proxy for that. And um, yeah, it's just, it's been stupidly busy for me right now. I've got my printer up and running, so I've been printing a few models. I've got demonettes, I've got uh, uh, demonic possessed space marines. I've picked up some concoffered noise marines and whatnot. I'm, I'm going to be doing a small little Empress Children army. Um, I've got Nurgle, I'm working on Slanish. I've also got um, Black Legions, that's Chaos Undivided. Uh, I'm going to be leaving Zench till last. Uh, that's just not my idea. I don't like how they play. So I might not even do a Zench army. Um, but Korn's going to be an interesting one. I know they've got a new codex and some of their models is interesting to say the least. And so I want to <laughs> how do I put this nicely? I want to enjoy my life. That's it. That's all I want. I just want to enjoy my life. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this new job will get me there. And like I said, guys, it's just... Which means I'll be able to upload more videos and even talk about a little bit some of the projects I've worked on, jobs-wise, things of that nature. Uh, a lot of people are like, what do you do? I'm, 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 I do cyber security for a living. I do pen testing, um, things of that nature. Basically, people love to, to hire me to hack their own websites. Uh, I don't hack their competitors. Um, if there's a, contract, a conflict of interest, I, I say to them, sorry, I can't. I previously worked for your rivals, yada, 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 you know, inside. See, this is why a lot of people don't seem to understand that everyone thinks pen testers are lazy. We're not. We, we suffer from what's called... Uh, uh, <laughs> We suffer from something that is called uh, 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 non-competes, basically. If you are a fan of professional wrestling, you'd understand that professional wrestlers suffer from non-competes. So if you work for, say, WCW, okay, I know they're defunct, but if, say you work for WCW, you sign a contract with them. You are now stuck with them until the end of that contract. If you try to get out of that contract early due to injury or, or creative differences, things of that nature, they'll say you've got a 90 day non compete, which means you can't wrestle for 90 days. You cannot legally work for 90 days. Okay? This is why a lot of wrestlers will go off to Japan because non competes are not enforced in Japan. Or they'll go off to, to England or they'll go off to another country where non competes are not enforced. So, what that means is, say Hulk, Hulk, when Hulk Hogan left WWF slash E the first time around, he went to Japan and worked his non-compete. Which means for those 90 days, he was in New Japan Pro Wrestling or, 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 or All Japan Pro Wrestling, things of that nature. There, wrestling, doing his thing, till his 90, day, 90 days was up and he went back to America and lo and behold, bad bow bow bad bow bow he showed right up in WCW. That's how non-competes work. So say I work for company A, and they say, hack us, find a weakness. I, pen, I, I hack, I penetrate, I get in, I, I show them how I did it, they fix their security. 
company B, who's a rival to company A, yeah, messages me and says, hey, come work for, for us and figure, show us how you did it. I can't do that legally. Reason being is because there's nothing stopping company B from attacking company A using my, my attack vector. See what I'm saying? Just because I've found an issue, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to actually respond to that issue. Namely, I've I found a, a, a group that I work with. We do it for non-profit. We just, honestly, we do it just to be dicks. We found a, a garing weakness in the Sony PlayStation Network that they apparently had patched. It wasn't patched. We were in. Pointed it out to Sony. Sony said, and, and Sony's like, oh, thank you, because they got a bug bounty program. This is another thing that pen testers look for, is for companies like Google, Amazon, things of that nature to have bug bounties. Well, problem with that was, Sony did have it posted as a bug bounty, and we got it. And we would we were we would do our payout. They didn't pay us. So one of our members in our group, who's no longer with us, we kicked him out for it, posted the entire exploit on how we did it on the dark web. And then lo and behold, Sony gets data breached. So let me go back to the previous point, which is we get in, we hack A, tell A how we did it, but A doesn't implement any securities. Company B then hires us and says, how did you hack company A? I've got a moral clause here. Do I tell, I mean, company B has employed, it has employed me to do it. Do you see what I'm saying? At what point do I become a red or a black hat? It, and like, um, please explain the hats. Okay, red hat, bad guy. Okay, black hat, government stooge. Grey hat, bit in the middle. That pretty much sums up. Mm. Oh. This is bad coffee, but it's not good coffee, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Wanna sneeze? <coughs> Thank you, phone. It would not be a Cobra video without me sneezing and my phone orgasm. <laughs> But I'm, I'm good guys, I've just been very busy with my schooling. This video will go up very, very soon. And so yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sneeze again, I can feel it's right here sticking my nose. <clears throat> Fucking hate sneezing. Anyway guys, coffee is almost done. So the video's done. Anyway, guys, I am alive. See you soon. I will be live streaming soon. Until then, guys, take care. And I love you.